say it's time to time around. We were really disappointed that we did I mean, hopefully we get a we get a face off. I mean, uh, it's not like I'm gonna throw all my hard work away and you know do something stupid. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of trash talk because that's what people are expecting. But I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize this fight. I work too hard, um, and we're here at the finish line, baby. You know what I mean? So, like I said, the hard part is done. Uh, I like to say that the training the training camp is always the hard part. So now it's time to go have fun on Saturday night. What was your thoughts on Caleb Plant and Melo's conversation in the fight with you? He told Melo, "I respect you." That's a that's a sign of weakness. He was already breaking down. And just like how he's breaking down in that fight, I'm gonna break him. I'm gonna break him down too. So, I mean, um, that, that's just basically what I have to say about that. David, can you talk about the body transformation? You know, being more chiseled coming into this fight, and what what it'll affect on fight night. I mean, I just worked hard, as you can see. I mean, I, I, I didn't I didn't leave any stone unturned. I worked extremely hard on everything. My, I got my miles in, got my strength and conditioning, got my abs in, got my uh, sparring rounds in. You know, I've I worked extremely hard for this fight, so now it's time to show out on Saturday. Hey, hey, the the Un Nino. You talked about winning the knockout. Which type of knockout would be more gratifying for you, to knock him out forward or to kind of beat him down the way Canelo did? I think as long as I stop him and get the knockout, that's really what satisfies me. But uh, like I said, he's a, he's a tough fighter. He moves around a lot. But it's my job to be able to face whatever adversity he throws my way. And we're still going to go for the knockout. I know I'm going to be able to hurt him. You know, I know once I get going and get my hands on the dudes, you know, they, they can't take my power. And I know that for a fact. And Caleb Plant is no different. David, you're an example of life. 250 libras, you like a child without a future. Today you're the face of boxing. As we say in Mexico, you already fell the 20th that your photos are in all Vegas. Yes, I feel very good. Now that trabajé muy duro para llegar a este momento ya que tenemos la pelea el sábado um, vamos a lograr la victoria y le quiero dar los fans lo que quiere, quiere mirar quiere mirar un acá y eso es lo que vamos a hacer David, eh, recientemente que le plan los llamó mentirosos, que son un equipo de mentirosos y que solo quieren distraerlo pues, él puede decir lo que él quiere decir um, ya, se, ya, ya se acabó todo de hablar y todo, ya es tiempo para pelear el sábado ¿Qué me dices de la transformación física? Eh, eres otro David de Navide se ve que te has, como dicen en México, te has partido la madre No, sí, pues dediqué mucho tiempo a este campamento, entrené bien duro, cuatro meses de mi, mi vida, uh, di a este campamento y ya estamos listos, 100%. Finalmente, ¿qué le dices a tu raza? Um, le quiero dar las gracias a toda la gente que me apoyan, um, le prometí que le vamos a dar un knock es lo que vamos a hacer, muchas gracias a todos. Gracias a ti. Es algo que tenías 100% de los fans de hoy. Me siento bien, como dije, doy mi vida y doy todo a estos fans de hoy. Por eso tengo un porcentaje de KO. Los fans me gustan ver knockouts y stoppages y no voy a parar. Up here, um, I've worked the hardest I've ever worked in my life, and it's the most important I've ever had in my life. So it's time, uh, it's time to continue to give the fans what they want to see. And like I said, uh, I, I've heard everybody I've been in the ring with. Kid, kind is no different. I'm gonna break his ass down. Is it crazy to just know like how you started, how you were big as a kid, and like seeing how slim you are now, how cut up you are? Is it kind of like a crazy transformation for you to see like, oh, wow, I did this? Like, I look like this. No, it's it's not me saying wow. It's me uh, congratulating myself for keeping my words. To myself, I knew that when this moment was going to come, um, I was going to work my ass off to get to pay per view and you know, to be here, and I deserve to be here more than anybody. Um, I wasn't giving no handouts. I start off, you know, as a little uh, a chubby kid, and I, I had to work even harder to, to get to where I'm at today. Nobody expected me to be here, and just like a lot of people doubt me and not uh, saying I'm not going to win this fight, I'm here to prove everybody wrong. Te vas a presentar en Guadalajara en la pelea de Canelo. Um, todavía no sabemos. Ahorita no más no más estamos enfocados en esta pelea ahorita y a ver después de eso. Uh, pensamos en eso. Pero sigue siendo una importante pelea para ti, la de Canelo. Sí, esa es la pelea que toda la gente quiere mirar y yo, yo creo que ya es tiempo para hacer esta pelea. Um, I don't like to really uh, think myself of those terms. You know, I just want to keep being the fighter that the fans want to see and keep giving them the performances they want to see and um, keep being a, a role model for the kids. The kids are like me. There's a lot of kids around the world that a lot of people call them fat and say that they're never going to do nothing. You know, uh, so, like I said, I just want to be a role model to those kids, an example that everything that you put your mind to can be done. I've seen your face all over this hotel. I know you've been to this, in this hotel before for other fights and things like that. Talk about the feeling that now you are the name on there. You are the face on all the men. I'm just very excited, man. I'm, I'm very excited, very happy. Like I said, we worked our asses off to get to this moment. And now it's about uh, just keeping my word to myself. Um, 
you know, this is definitely, you know, a dream come true seeing all you guys with the cameras in here and, you know, being in the MGM. So now that I know I could get here, the sky's the limit. I'm going to keep working hard. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the fight, with, there's been a lot of bad blood for a long time with, between you guys. Is there going to be, like, a moment of, like, hey, respect at the end, or is it just... It's, I mean, the, the, the moment of respect is when you go in the ring and you touch the gloves for the first time. I mean, if you don't want to touch the gloves, I really don't care. But um, as of, that's the most respect I'll give him. You know, the, the respect I gave him is preparing for him. You know what I mean? I, I worked extremely hard, and, um, yeah, it is what it is. The WBC has four medals in fight from that if you win this. So if you do win, would you force the WBC to um, we would have to see, you know, I think uh, I, I want to fight Canelo, you know, just to prove myself that I'm the best at 168, but if he doesn't want to fight, then of, of course that's the route we'll go. I mean, I've been mandatory for the past two fights, so, I mean, it, it's, it's, my turn to, uh, it's my turn to fight for the title, but first things first, we're taking care of business on March 25th. David, uh, you know, you get called a Mexican monster, and I know you looked up to Mexicans like Barrera and Morales and Marquez. Is that the kind of level of offense we're going to see in this fight? When people talk skills, they lean more towards Like those yeah, that, well, that's what I am. You know, I've always showed that that off, uh, offensive side of me. I've worked on the defensive side of me in this fight too. And like I said, I'm gonna have to bring all every weapon out of my arsenal to get the knockout against Caleb Plant. But I want to follow in that great line of Mexican fighters, uh, like Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, um, like uh, Morales. All those guys that were brawlers and, and went out and gave their heart for all their fans. That's exactly what I want to be. Would you repeat that question in Spanish, please? No, pues quiero, quiero, quiero seguir en, en, en esa línea de todos los, 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 las leyendas de México, quiero ser, um, quiero dar las peleas como Julio César Chávez, Marco Antonio Barrera y Eric Morales. Ese es el tipo de peleador que yo soy y voy a seguir así. I just try to live in the moment. You know, this is a beautiful moment. Seeing everybody here, everybody took the time to come see me, and um, I'm just very grateful. Very grateful. But now I know I could get here. Now the sky's the limit for me. I'm gonna continue to be here. You know, this is what this is what I want to be my whole life. I just want to continue working hard. Por favor, algo de Jose Benavides. De Jose Benavides que está en Hollywood. Is the decision win enough, or is the KO win is the only way that you? I mean, I would, I would, I would. I'm satisfied with the victory, but I'll be very disappointed in myself. Like I said, I've been talking a lot of shit, so I want to go and get the knockout. Um, but like I said, I've heard everybody I've been in the ring with, you know what I mean? So I, I, I could definitely get it. Um, I just have to, you know, throw the right shots. I have the stamina, bro. Um, I've been sparring 15, 15 rounds the most, four different sparring partners. So I mean, it's nothing new to me. I'm going to keep pushing until I get that. Algo de Jose Benavides, seguramente de emoción enormemente. No, pues estoy bien feliz de, de mi hermano en todo el, el success que está teniendo ahorita en las películas. Y no, como, como hermano, estoy bien feliz para él. Muchas gracias. See everyone tomorrow. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Bro, man,